strap on your crash helmet and take your Dramamine. Because in the next hour, we're rolling coast to coast to experience the most extreme terror rides in the entire country. From the speed demon that achieves total weightlessness a thousand feet above the Las Vegas Strip. Whoever came up with this, a mind of a genius. To the hundred foot bungee jump, where they don't even give you a bungee cord. See you later. To the one ride that's the single fastest and highest white knuckle scream machine in all of America. 156 feet up in the air. Get ready for the most frightening freefall, the most face squashing G-force, and the upside downest, corkscrewiest coasters allowed by law. Pulling G's, man. Plus, we look under the hood to see how these 10-ton steel monsters do their dirty work. This hydraulic system is a lot like a super soaker gun. If you suffer from vertigo, go do the dishes or something. is Extreme Terror Rides. First up on our Terror Ride road trip, Vegas. But we aren't here for the slots. Oh no, we're looking for something with a little more altitude. Look up, way up. Towering more than 100 stories above the famous Las Vegas Strip is the Stratosphere Hotel and Casino. And at the very tippy top lies the world's highest amusement park. I mean, you're so high up. Nowhere in the world can you get this high up and then to ride extreme thrill rides. I've gone skydiving. This, yeah. is, this is worse. <laughs> this is worse. awesome. It's not awesome. The Strasfer Tower to the very top is 1,149 feet. It's actually the largest observation tower in the U.S. and the highest building west of the Mississippi River. And if that doesn't give you vertigo, the stratosphere tops it off with the world's three highest thrill rides. The Big Shot, the Insanity, and the x cream. I've been on a few different thrill rides, but never anything off this high. But you might be wondering, how the hell do you get three massive rides on top of a high-rise hotel? Just building this thing was a thrill ride in itself. Where we're standing is over 900 feet up in the air, so there's no cranes that big. So what we did is we found a helicopter company, and we brought the rides up in pieces. And keep in mind, some of these pieces were thousands of pounds. Somehow, they managed to airlift and bolt together more than 200,000 pounds of steel and titanium into some truly insane rides. So let's ride, starting with the aptly named X-Scream. Imagine a giant teeter-totter that literally takes you over the edge of the Las Vegas Strip. You know, it's not so bad when you're getting on the ride. But then they lower that floor, and you're like, oh, great. And then they let you off the side. It's actually designed so that the wheels are behind the passengers, so the vehicle will go about five or six feet past the track. For a lot of people, this is a psychological torment. You are literally out there just, just hovering in space. It's cool. Hanging out the side of a building. Lost your stomach a couple times. Oh, yeah. Better than losing your mind. But that's exactly what happens on our next Stratosphere ride. Strap yourself into insanity. The Insanity is the second highest thrill ride in the world. It takes you about 68 feet out. He's telling you, don't look down, look down. Best part is looking down. <laughs> this entire assembly, once the ride cycle starts, will rotate out. 
and it will literally hang over the edge. Holy shit. <laughs> and once it locks into position, we start spinning this wheel with a big hydraulic motor. It takes 6,000 foot-pounds of torque to wind this thing up to 30 miles per hour. And these arms will free float out from the centrifugal force, and you will be facing at a 70-degree angle down while you're spinning away and back to the tower. You're gonna get far away from the tower and back very quickly between five feet of the structure. It's just a very intense visual and uh, physical sensation. Going over the edge like that is incredible. My heart's racing like insane. Whoever came up with this is crazy. The mind of a genius. But the X scream and the insanity pale in comparison to this. The undisputed pinnacle of thrill rides. Big shot. I'm ready to go on the big shot here, and uh, I really wish I would have went to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. The oldest one and probably the granddaddy of them all, it's the world's highest, which is the big shot. It's a reverse bungee ride, so it takes you up the needle at the very top of the tower. You guys ready? It loads with air, so you wait for a second, and you launch. You go up about 160 feet at 45 miles an hour in about 2.5 seconds. So it's almost like you're still on the ground and your body is already gone. And then comes the heart-pounding payoff, a moment of absolute weightlessness, 1,081 feet above the streets of Las Vegas. On the way up, you experience 4 Gs. At the top, you go weightless and experience negative 1 G. When I went up, I just felt all my blood get out of my toes. Still yeah. trying to catch my breath. <laughs> we hear from people in the neighborhoods around us that they could hear the people screaming. And they're screaming for more. Since 1996, more than 20 million people have blasted off on the Big Shots G-Force Fun Ride. In terms of who rides the rides, it's amazing because you get young and old. My extreme daughter brought me here and forced me to go on these rides with her, so yeah, I'm trying to be a good mother. We have a ride engineer, her name's Ruby. She's a 72-year-old grandmother, and she absolutely, absolutely loves the rides. She has the world's record on all three of the rides. I love it because it's just like you're falling down, praying, check you up, wake you up. I feel a little bit like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Welcome back to Earth. When we return, in the Coaster Wars, this place has the biggest standing army around. We have 75 rides here, 17 of which are roller coasters. Visit the theme park with more roller coasters than any other. Oh my gosh! And later, no ride in America has more velocity and altitude than this baby. Here we go. <laughs> when Extreme Terror Rides returns. Hang on tight to your lap bars, because we're rolling into Sandusky, Ohio. During the summer high season, three million roller coaster fanatics flock to these 364 acres along Lake Erie. Why? Because this is Cedar Point, one of the largest collections of coasters in the nation. I've been screaming all day on all the roller coasters. Came from Nashville, Tennessee. Came to the baddest roller coaster park in the world. No other park like Cedar Point. Here at Cedar Point, we're known as America's Roller Coast. We have 75 rides here, 17 of which are roller coasters, and that's more than any other amusement park in the world. But the ultimate coaster convergence didn't happen overnight. 
In fact, Cedar Point has been laying down tracks for more than a century. Cedar Point is the second oldest amusement park in North America. We opened back in 1870. So we've had well over 100 years of roller coaster history right here at Cedar Point. Been here, coming here since I was 12 years old. It's Camp's first day here, and he's just blown away. Back in 1989, we debuted Magnum. It was the first coaster ever to go over 200 feet tall. That coaster really kind of started what's called the coaster wars. Who can have the tallest in the world? Who can have the fastest in the world? Today, Cedar Point is still on the front lines of the coaster wars. And with two of the biggest guns in thrill ride history, they're taking no prisoners. First up, it's the 17-second juggernaut known as Top Thrill Dragster. Top Thrill Dragster, best ride in the world. Stay in the line for however long it takes to get on this thing. Top Thrill Dragster, when it opened, it was the first coaster ever to go higher than 400 feet. The first coaster ever to break 100 miles per hour. because it's three, two, one, green. And you're headed straight up at 120 miles per hour to a dizzying 420 feet. And then comes the scary part. Oh my God! Crest the top just at about five or six miles per hour. You're just, you know, just slowly coasting over the top. And then you're looking straight back down to the ground, 90 degrees straight down. Once your brain realizes, I'm 42 stories in the air, you're already going straight back down towards the ground, almost like you're plummeting right into the earth. Oh, my God! What's more thrilling than 17 seconds of vertical velocity? See if you can handle two minutes on the award-winning Millennium Force. When this coaster debuted in 2000, it was the single tallest and fastest on Earth. And for the past eight years, Millennium Force has been one of the two best steel coasters on leading trade publication, Amusement Today's annual golden ticket list. Millennium Force, uh, probably my favorite ride here. Uh, been on it probably about 100 times. Millennium Force is 310 foot tall. And on a nice clear day, if the sky's right, you can actually see Canada from the top of that coaster. This was the best ride. That's what we heard. It was the best ride here. So now we're finna see. Hooray! Millennium Force has all the elements that a coaster enthusiast or a thrill seeker is looking for. We take you up to the top of the 310 foot tall hill. You go down the other side at 80 degrees, which is almost straight down. At the bottom of that hill, you reach your top speed of 93 miles per hour. From then, you're quickly into an inverted turn. Where you're almost completely upside down. From there, you go into a tunnel, complete darkness. Please, God! Wow. Come back out into the second tallest hill of the coaster. <laughs> wow. Before you cruise back down onto a couple twists, turns, another speed airtime hill, and you're back in the station. Catch you by surprise the drop. It, it, it seemed like it's just non-stop. You just fall into a hole, but it's awesome. Millennium Force isn't just one of the fastest and tallest. It's a truly groundbreaking piece of engineering, too. Prior to Millennium Force, most, if not all, the roller coasters used a traditional chain link to take you up to the top of the coaster. With Millennium Force, we decided to go with this elevator cable lift system. It's just like an elevator you see in any building. It actually pulls it up and over the first hill, which not only takes you up the coaster hill quicker, but it's smoother, it's quieter, and it's more safe. The incline up, when you go up, it's going up pretty fast. 
once they come back into the station after they've gone through all the hills and twists and turns, it's just spontaneous applause, cheers, laughter. We've had people who've told us they've rode Millennium Force more than a thousand times in a season. Hold on to your toupee. And remember, the park with the biggest coaster collection on Earth still has 15 more where that came from. When we return, oh my God. think roller coasters are too safe? I don't do this. Try plummeting 100 feet with nothing but a bungee cord. Two, one. Next, we head to the heartland to get our hearts pumping in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. If you're looking for regular old roller coasters, you've come to the wrong place. Because this is Extreme World, where the thrill seeker meets gravity head on. Oh my god! Yeah! Extreme World is a place. Those are people who are looking for those extreme feelings, those adrenaline rushes. And this level of adrenaline is unheard of at a wimpy theme park. Extreme World is the Midwest's largest extreme sports park. What does that mean? A whole lot of attitude. And even more altitude. Let's take a crash course in extreme with the Sky Coaster, where hang gliding meets skydiving. We are ready to fly. Lock your inner arms together, please. Ready, guys? No. <laughs> We're going to take you 100 feet up in the air. You're going to come flying towards the ground. The next thing you know, you're flying up the other side. How fast you go depends on your weight. You get three people up there that weigh 250 pounds apiece, they're going to come smoking anywhere from 60 to 65 miles per hour. The Sky Coaster is swinging. But it's this crazy contraption that launches the adrenaline quotient through the roof. The ejection seat is the ride that gives you the most instantaneous rush that you can experience. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm going to pee my pants. Do not let go. Do not do that either. <laughs> Dear God. Oh I'm going to take two large bungee cords, and we're going to stretch those cords 130 feet up in the air, and you're going to be down below, and we're going to say goodbye. And before you can catch your breath, you're going straight up, 170 feet as fast as you can go. I would say the worst Crazy. part when you start like falling really fast towards the ground, but you're like head first, so you can't see anything. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> Are you me? Not intense enough for you? Try a head first dive into thin air from a dizzying 120 feet. Take Extreme World's totally ballistic bungee jump and you'll have a newfound respect for elastic. So am I going to be like upside down? Are you are going to be like upside down. Oh, my God. Oh, my I'm so God. nervous. The suspense starts with an initial weigh-in. And this is one scale you want to tell the truth. Don't say my weight out loud. Every bungee cord must be specifically calibrated to each jumper's weight, because when you're free-falling 12 stories, there's no margin for error. Finally, the ankle harness is attached. And it's up, up, and away. I'm freaked out. <laughs> are you nervous? I'm extremely nervous. Look at how high we are. Once the cage reaches the top of the tower, it's all up to you to take that final step. Will you do it? or totally chicken out. Oh, my God. There are numerous individuals. Once they get up there, they decide it's a lot higher than what it looks from the ground. Oh, I panicked, actually. <laughs> I was just too scared to jump. I don't want to do this. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Don't look at the rock, right? Okay. You do okay. this one step at a time. Let's okay. take your time. Let's handle it here on the floor. Oh, my God. A little more. I'm trying. The nerves, they're perfectly natural. 
because this face-first 40 mile per hour swan dive is about to bring you within eight feet of kissing pavement. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Three, two, one. I've even had skydivers back out of the bungee. They find it scarier than skydiving. Open the door and just make them do it. You already did. Oh, it. Jeremy. It's a fun time. Ah! There you go, Jeremy. Good job, Jeremy. But believe it or not, the most extreme, extreme sports complex in America gets even wilder than that. Because terminal velocity is like bungee jumping without the cord. I'm getting ready to do a free fall because I'm not going to let my 17-year-old son show me up. I'm feeling a little bit jittery. Terminal velocity, it gets its name from the concept of free fall, the fastest rate of speed a human can fall. Well, they say it's only a two and a half second drop, but it feels like it's forever. You have to count on the net below to catch you. That's scary a little all in itself. Only for the true daredevil or lunatic, terminal velocity is so simple, it's scary. First, they hoist you up a staggering 160 feet. Then, the floor drops out, and you plummet 100 feet, reaching speeds of about 85 miles per hour into nothing but net. I'm one crazy chick. Hey, relax, look right up here at us, please. Look at me. See you later. <laughs> I think people get surprised at how high up in the air 160 feet is, or even 100 feet. It only takes seconds, but then all of a sudden you just feel this great rush of speed. A little nervous. I'm a librarian, so uh, a little bit different than my daily job. But when it's all over, you've got bragging rights no bungee jumper could ever claim. It's the only ride that you're going to be able to actually experience feeling of falling and being attached to nothing. It was awesome. You were just floating, and it was a very nice ride, and all of a sudden, splat. The feeling when you hit the net is one of relief, and you just see a lot of people just a big sigh. I made it. I'm, I'm shaking a little bit, but it was, it was awesome. You only live once. When we return, you're staring down a 97 degree drop. If you fail geometry, that isn't straight down. It's worse. And coming out of my seat right now. Plus, lie down, relax. You're about to witness the future of roller coasters upside down. I'm upside down. Woo! when Extreme Terror Rides returns. <laughs> Next stop, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Just down the street from the intersection of Chocolate and Cocoa Avenues is the 121-acre cocoa-themed candy land called Hershey Park. Millions pour through these gates every year to get a serious sugar rush. But these days, Hershey Park delivers a killer adrenaline rush, too. Hershey Park has 11 roller coasters, the most in Pennsylvania, and also has a grand total of over 60 rides and attractions. Hershey's Cocoa Coasters include the face-flattening Storm Runner, that rockets riders from zero to 72 miles per hour in 1.2 seconds. And the truly one of a kind, Roller Soaker. Part coaster, part log flume, part water war. Roller Soaker is a ride that we put in in 2002. And it's the only one of its kind. People on the ground have water cannons to get the riders wet. However, the riders also have their own system to dump water on bystanders. But we're here for something way more menacing. Unveiled on Memorial Day 2008, Hershey Park's latest thrill ride is called Fahrenheit. Ah! 
and it'll drive you over the edge, literally. It takes your breath away. This is really, really great. <laughs> I want to do it again, and again, and again. While the line is in motion, please remain seated. You will be reaching speeds of approximately 58 miles per hour. Bye! Here's what's unique about Fahrenheit. You begin the ride going up 121 foot vertical lift. And you can see right now with the background, we're going straight up. It's almost like sitting on the space shuttle in position. But it isn't the climb that gets you. It's the drop, and Fahrenheit goes beyond free fall. We're gonna drop at 97 degrees, and coming out of my seat right now, I won't be able to hold on. Thank goodness we're going to, whoa! You heard right, he said 97 degrees. That's a whole seven degrees beyond vertical, making it the coaster with the steepest drop in the entire United States. Oh, my poor geez, we're going into the outer loop inversion. That's 107 degrees. See you around. Very quickly, we're doing a barrel roll. We're going into the Cobra loop now. And here we go in the free air time. Again, free air time. Woohoo! We're coming to the high speed bank. And we're doing a roll. <laughs> Great ride. I thought it was really good when we were going up the thing there and we dropped because you felt like you were going to go come out of your seat. You can't see anything else. <laughs> <laughs> the sky. The sky looking up and going straight down. It was. We'll be reaching the seat for the <laughs> You know, it's always great in the amusement park business to have a nest. And 97 degrees is the steepest drop in the U.S. But watch out. Once you catch Fahrenheit fever, Woo! you may never go back to ordinary roller coasters. Woo! That was great. I've been on it 93 times so far. I'm at least going to get seven more today so I can get to 100. Still kind of shaking, but when you go over that hill, it was the coolest thing ever. And I totally loved it. I want to do it again. <laughs> Our next shot of adrenaline hits us from just outside Cincinnati, Ohio. If you want the most cutting edge coasters, make a pilgrimage to Kings Island Amusement Park and keep coming back because every time you visit, there's a brand new thrill. We've been here quite a few times actually. Um, we love coming back and seeing what's new each year. We have a little bit of everything. We have the big roller coasters, uh, like the one behind us here. We have uh, the Beast, which is the longest wood roller coaster in the world. We have the Son of Beast, which is the tallest and fastest wood roller coaster in the world. So we've had a lot of firsts here at the park. And Kings Island keeps pushing the envelope on cutting edge thrills with the Firehawk. Firehawk was a great ride. It's one of our favorite rides in the park. We rode it first, as a matter of fact, to make sure we get on it. Firehawk's a very popular ride. It's one of our newest coasters, and it's unique in the way that it works because you're actually flying. It gives you the sensation of flying. The Firehawk flies in the face of traditional roller coaster reasoning because you don't sit comfortably in a car. Instead, you're suspended face down for a seriously twisted thrill. So you actually start out on the ride on your back, go up the lift on your back, and then it flips you over, and for the rest of the time, you're upside down. You don't have any sensation of anything under you. So when you're moving, you actually feel like you're going a lot faster than you actually are. We have a mechanism in the station that lifts the car up into a, a more or less upright position for people to get in, and then after everybody's strapped in and the harnesses are attached, we lower it back down. You ready to go down? Once the passengers are strapped in tight, it's time for this hawk to soar. Here they 
they come. They're coming out of the station upside down, head first. And they're going up the hill backwards. This is not normal. You're laying on your back looking at the sky, so you really don't have a whole lot of perspective of where you are when you're going up the ride. Are we there yet? As soon as you get to the top, it's a little bit of a surprise because it flips you over and you see that big drop and you're ready to go. Oh, my gosh. Ah. All right. Oh, oh, oh. That's the ground. Blow me. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, my gosh. This is unbelievable. It has a loop. It has a corkscrew. It has a lot of different inversions. Oh, into the loop. Oh. Whoa! Woo. As you're going down into a curve, your body wants to keep going straight. Oh, yeah! Facing the ground again. So as we're curving the track, you feel that additional load because you're wanting to still go down straight into the ground. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Yeah! This is unreal. Oh! <laughs> All right. Whoa! Wow! Woo! Now that's what we call turning the coaster concept on its head. I love this. Big throw there. We'll do it again. That was great. That was unreal. Again, again. <laughs> again? You asked for it. Strap yourself in, lie back, and enjoy the flight. When we return, it's the single biggest and meanest indoor triple loop roller coaster on Earth. Oh, my stomach feels so creepy. And we bumped you to the front of the line. I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. Yeah! And later, want speed, altitude? We deliver the fastest and highest ride you'll find in America. Oh, no! When Extreme Terror Rides continues. Next, we take you over the border to test your thrill threshold in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. The West Edmonton Mall isn't your average shopping center. With over 5 million square feet, 800 stores, and a regulation NHL hockey rink all crammed inside, this is the biggest mall in all of North America. But we aren't here to hit the gap in skate figure eights. We're here for this. The world's biggest and baddest indoor triple loop roller coaster. Try to wrap your mind around the mind bender. I'm not nervous. <laughs> I am very nervous. Mind bender is very intense. Once it takes you, it never lets you go until the finish. I've never seen you scream so loud. <laughs> Right now, you're right in the heart of the Mindbender ride. You can, you can see just an amazing maze of track. A key feature for Mindbender is your triple loops. When you start the ride, you go through a double loop, a slingshot through, and you finish off with a third, which basically just pastes you into your seat. What? Yeah, we have to go through those big loops. Upside down. <laughs> I want to close my eyes. Climb aboard, and the thrills start right away with a heart-pounding climb, a dizzying 145 feet. Once you're into the ride, you make the long ascent, which is probably one of the more scary parts because you know you're going to drop off the edge. Oh, man, this is so high. Okay, man, my stomach feels so queasy. And then kiss your lunch goodbye. All of a sudden, you're into a 127-foot drop. I really didn't want to go through a drop. Uh, first thing you know, it's a pretty big drop right away, and your stomach just goes. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. The first, we were in the first car, and uh, when you go over the top and you're looking down, oh, my gosh, your heart just starts pounding. <laughs> The ride is free-flowing from that point on. There's not a power, it's momentum that's carrying you forward. It just goes so fast. It's crazy. Fast? That's an understatement. Mindbender completes 1,498 feet of twisting, turning track in just 73 seconds, reaching speeds of 65 miles per hour. What exactly does that do to your body? 
Riders experience an intense 5 G's of force. G-force is the effects of acceleration on your body. So as you're going through the ride, the force of the acceleration is either forcing your seat or forcing you sideways, or in fact, sometimes even giving you airtime. Holy mother! Oh yeah, the Mindbender is a crash course in physics. A thrilling combination of centripetal force and what the experts call independent rider inertia keeps passengers glued safely to their seats, even for the grand finale. Climax is your last loop, which goes straight through this walkway, so you can literally stand down there and look up and watch these people go by you screaming and hollering. When people get off, there's various reactions. I don't know how I'm doing. Trouble. I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. We'll see. Oh, gee, that's fast. And the one that oh. we don't like to deal with is, it's called protein spills. And that's where you should never eat before you go on Mindbender. Everybody loves the Mindbender, but repeat rides? That's a recipe for a protein spill. <laughs> when we return, just when you thought it couldn't get any more heart-stopping or stomach-churning, we unleash the highest, fastest steel beast in America. 45 stories tall, 130 miles per hour. Oh, it's go time, all right. When Extreme Terror Rides returns. On our thrill ride road trip, we save the most heart-stopping stop for last. Jackson, New Jersey. With 13 coasters and 140 acres, Great Adventure is the largest Six Flags amusement park in the nation. And it's wall-to-wall -wall thrills. But we're here for one reason, and one reason only. The single fastest and highest coaster in all of America, King Da Ka. Crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. Here we go. King the Ka means king of coasters. It is the tallest and fastest ride in the world. <laughs> king the Ka is an amazing experience. Absolutely, it's a thrill ride that all thrill seekers should get on. It's just an amazing ride. It's an amazing feeling. I feel like I'm on the space shuttle. And that's no exaggeration. King Dakar is the coaster enthusiast holy grail. But just how big and how fast is the biggest and fastest coaster in the country? 456 feet tall and 128 miles an hour in the launch. It's so tall, the whole Statue of Liberty would fit under the main arch. Nowhere in the world can you go that tall or that fast on a ride. I can't feel my feet. That was amazing. My name is uh, Steve O'Donnell, and I go by Coast and Steve. Uh, I am a coaster enthusiast. Uh, to the present day, I've been on uh, 302 different roller coasters. The uh, intensity of the King of Ka ride is amazing. To go from zero to 128 miles an hour in three and a half seconds, it's just something that you just don't get a chance to experience in your everyday life. Today, Coast and Steve is about to take his 100th ride on King of Ka. And lucky for us, the ultimate thrill ride guide is taking us along. Hi, everybody. We're about to go for a ride on the world's tallest, fastest roller coaster, King of Ka. Glad you could all come and join me. As you can see, I have goggles on to protect my eyes from the 128 miles an hour wind that we will experience at the end of this launch. And here we go. Three, two, one. One!
when you're hurtling straight up and corkscrewing straight down the world's highest coaster hill at twice the legal speed limit. You might not be thinking about what makes this Titan tick, but King Daka is a feat of coaster engineering like you won't believe. King Daka has about 1,000 tons of steel in it. The trains weigh about 20,000 pounds, so we're lifting a 20,000 pound train every 60 seconds. The launch might look like something out of Cape Canaveral, but this baby is powered by what you might call a super, super soaker. We're inside the hydraulic room at King Dakai, Great Adventure. This hydraulic system, it's a lot like a super soaker gun. You pump up hydraulic fluid to a high pressure, just like you do when you pump a super soaker, but then instead of spraying your brother or sister with it, we use that pressure to run motors that turns the drum you see behind me that winds the cable that sends the car over the top of the hill. We can get up to 12,500 horsepower for the launch. This is a piece of the launch cable from King to Ka. So there's two of these. They're solid steel. Uh, each one runs 1,000 feet out and 1,000 feet back on the ride. It is flexible. This is what wraps around the drum and uses it to launch the train. My favorite part of the ride is definitely the takeoff. I mean, it's just like being in, like, a jet. Here we go. This is the scariest part, because your face goes all the way back, and it's terrifying. Catch the real whip. Wow! Right at the back. Oh, you gotta sit in the back. Go down! Woo! All the G's, man. Oh, yeah! With a hydraulic system that propels it up to 128 miles per hour, you bet the brakes have to be pretty reliable, too. Well, King Daka has some very advanced magnetic brakes on the ride. It's a set of permanent magnets mounted on the underside of the train. And then we have fins mounted on the ride. And as the train passes over the fin, there's a magnetic interaction between the two, which causes a braking force. It slows the train silently, very efficiently. They never wear out, and it's fail-safe. Oh, yeah. We're pulling back into the station. Wasn't that really quick? It may be quick, but after 50 seconds on the world's fastest thrill ride, nobody walks off or stumbles off without a massive smile. No one is ever disappointed when they get off King Daka. I've watched hundreds of trains come back, and all the faces are excited. I mean, they are screaming. There's no letdown from that ride. That was awesome. It was thrilling. It was an adrenaline rush. My first time, but I'm going to do it again, probably 10 more times if I can. And From a coaster high above the Vegas Strip to a free fall, free for all. See you later. From the biggest coaster collection <laughs> to the undisputed biggest, fastest scream machine in all of America. In the last hour, we've shown you the most extreme terror rides from coast to coast. Oh my God. Anybody lose their glasses? <laughs> actually designed so that the wheels are behind the passengers, so the vehicle will go about five or six feet past the track. <laughs> For a lot of people, this is a psychological torment. You are literally out there just, just hovering in space. It's cool. Hanging off the side of a building. <laughs> Lost your stomach a couple times. Oh, yeah better than losing your mind. But that's exactly what happens on our next Stratosphere ride. Strap yourself into insanity. The insanity is the second highest thrill ride in the world. Takes you about 68 feet out. He's telling you, don't look down, look down. Best part is looking down. <laughs> This entire assembly, once the right cycle starts, will rotate out and it will literally hang over the edge. Holy <laughs> And once it locks into position, we start spinning this wheel with a big hydraulic motor. 
in Sandy and the X screen. Bet on a few different thrill rides, but never anything off this high. But you might be wondering, how the hell do you get three massive rides on top of a high-rise hotel? Just building this thing was a thrill ride in itself. Where we're standing is over 900 feet up in the air, so there's no cranes that big. So what we did is we found a helicopter company and we brought the rides up in pieces. And keep in mind, some of these pieces were thousands of pounds. Somehow, they managed to airlift and bolt together more than 200,000 pounds of steel and titanium into some truly insane rides. So let's ride, starting with the aptly named X-Scream. Imagine a giant teeter-totter that literally takes you over the edge of the Las Vegas Strip. You know, it's not so bad when you're getting on the ride. But then they lower that floor, and you're like, oh, great. And then they let you off the side. Strap on your crash helmet and take your Dramamine. Because in the next hour, we're rolling coast to coast to experience the most extreme terror rides in the entire country. From the speed demon that achieves total weightlessness, a thousand feet above the Las Vegas Strip. Whoever came up with this, the mind of a genius. To the hundred foot bungee jump, where they don't even give you a bungee cord. See you later. To the one ride that's the single fastest and highest white knuckle scream machine in all of America. 156 feet up in the Get ready for the most frightening freefall, the most face squashing G force, and the upside down as corkscrewiest coasters allowed by law. Pulling G's, man. Plus, yeah. we look under the hood to see how these 10 ton steel monsters do their dirty work. This hydraulic system is a lot like a super soaker gun. If you suffer from vertigo, go do the dishes or something. Extreme Terror Rides. First up on our Terror Ride road trip, Vegas. But we aren't here for the slots. Oh no, we're looking for something with a little more altitude. Look up, way up. Towering more than a hundred stories above the famous Las Vegas Strip is the Stratosphere Hotel and Casino. And at the very tippy top lies the world's highest amusement park. I mean, you're so high up. Nowhere in the world can you get this high up and then to ride extreme thrill rides. I've gone skydiving. This, yeah. is, this is worse. <laughs> this is awesome. Worse. It's not awesome. The Strasford Tower to the very top is 1,149 feet. It's actually the largest observation tower in the U.S. and the highest building west of the Mississippi River. And if that doesn't give you vertigo, the stratosphere tops it off with the world's three highest thrill rides. The big shot. The it takes 6,000 foot-pounds of torque to wind this thing up to 30 miles per hour. And these arms will free float out from the centrifugal force and you will be facing at a 70 degree angle down while you're spinning away and back to the tower. You're gonna get far away from the tower and back very quickly between five feet of the structure. It's just a very intense visual and uh, physical sensation. Going over the edge like that is incredible. My heart's racing like insane. Whoever came up with this is crazy. The mind of a genius. But the X scream and the insanity pale in comparison to this. The undisputed pinnacle of thrill rides. Big shot. I'm ready to go on the big shot here and uh, 
I really wish I would have went to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The oldest one and probably the granddaddy of them all. It's the world's highest, which is the big shot. It's a reverse bungee ride, so it takes you up the needle at the very top of the tower. You guys ready? It loads with air, so you wait for a second. 